What's good, YouTube? Antayami here, and we're back with another deck profile. Today, we're going to be profiling Sky Striker Eldridge, which is going to be very exciting. So, of course, the ban list came out October 1st, and today is, well, of recording October 2nd, but this video will be up on Monday, October 4th. So very cool. And we already have our play sets of cross out designators, which are very awesome. Can't wait to test these and a whole bunch of different decks and see how good they are. But right now, I don't think they're as good as people think they are, but they're gonna be meta changing nonetheless. Anyway, with that being said, let's get on to the profile. On Friday, October 1st, I went to my locals and went undefeated with Sky Striker Eldritch. And I told myself if I went like X1 or undefeated, I would do a deck profile of this deck. And I feel this deck is pretty um, solid for the most part. I don't see any changes or anything like that. Maybe, maybe one or two slots, but uh, overall, it's a pretty solid deck. So let's hop in. First, the Sky Striker package. We have the triple ray that's all you need triple ray and then for the monster for the golden lord boys we have two golden lords that's it that's it five monsters that's it that's all you need five monsters in the main board for the sky striker spell engine i play triple anchor Double Area Zero, one Widow Anchor, I'm sorry, one Hornet Drones, one Afterburners, of course, one Engage, one Multi Roll, one Shark Cannon. I don't know if you guys can see all that or not. And that's it for the Sky Striker cards. Uh, of course, you play Triple Widow Anchor because this is literally the best Sky Striker card besides Engage. Have to play like this. This is how you go for game most of the time. You kind of snatch your opponent's board and then swing for game. Um, same thing with like Shark Cannon. Shark Cannon is that one because you already have some of the Golden Land cards that kind of act like a Shark Cannon. But this one also takes monsters, which is pretty cool. Um, taking Link Twos and Link Threes to make an access code talker is really useful. Uh, of course, the multi roll, like you gotta play multi roll, is really good in this deck because sometimes you wanna pop your own monsters to kinda like clear up space and it turns all your spell cards into speed spell fours, which is really crazy. Engage is engage, afterburners, um, really cool just for popping back row and popping monsters if needed. Uh, this is how you get into your Sky Striker engine as well. And then, of course, area zero at two because I think three is breaky and one is, you kinda wanna see it sometimes. It's a semi-starter. For the other spells, we play a triple droplets, one terraforming, one call by the grave, one reinforcements of the army, one upstart, one harpies. And that's it for the like other spell cards. They're not like engines, but kind of like flex bots, if you will. Droplets is insane. I love this card. Like, this card is almost like mandatory to be in a Sky Striker Eldridge deck. It's so freaking good. Uh, one Terraforming, of course, to search out for the fill spell. Uh, I thought about playing Mystic Mine, but I just I just feel like I never needed it, really. And surprisingly enough, how grindy nature this deck is, you could definitely probably drop an Area Zero for Mystic Mine or maybe Side Deck at Mystic Mine. But I, I took it out, honestly. Didn't really need it. Um, Call by the Grave is still really strong. You can set it still kind of like a trap card or you know again there's another spell card and it stops like ash blossoms and things of that nature to stop your golden lord or your suzuku uh reinforcing the army obviously to get into your sky strikers upstart is like a pseudo sky striker card you know more consistency and puts another spell in the grave and harpies just in case i go second and i want to dust the back row for the eldritch package we got the cursed eldlands here obviously one of the best starters in the deck because you can actually destroy it multiple different ways and get advantage uh, triple Sanguine, uh, just like the best uh, Elixir card. Triple Conk, pops back row, or sorry, pops face up cards. He doesn't target, which is really cool. And double Hikiro. Don't think you need three. You could technically play three, but two was perfect to me. You don't really want to open it because it doesn't really do too much if your opponent is like combling off, especially if they don't need a graveyard. But 
two is fine. I, I appreciate two. Um, for the other traps, I play triple imperm and triple solemn strikes. Solemn strike is a blessing card, bro. I really believe that solemn strikes are the, probably the best traps in today's metagame. It's really freaking good. It's so strong. So, but yeah, that's it. 40 in the main. Uh, let's hop into, I guess we can do extra, extra deck. Let's do extra deck. Okay, of course, Sky Strikers. Oh, uh, I'll play one Kaina. Double Hayate is all you really need. Uh, double Suzuku. All you really need. Basically, you just need a way to get to engage. And once you get to engage, the other searches don't really matter. Um, because once you get the searcher, you can just spam Kagari, re revive the engage, and you pretty much just win from there. Like, if you get the engage plusing, it's over, pretty much. Um, so that's it for the Sky Striker package. For the generic package, I do Link Spider first. Do Link Spider, uh, Lina, Zeke. Oh, Zeke is Sky Striker. <laughs> All right, well, he's not generic, but Zeke is also part of the Sky Striker package. Um, in gear two to get rid of like cards like dragoon and abramax which in tournament in my last round i had to use this card to get rid of an abramax which is funny uh black as a soldier nightmare unicorn and access code talker extra deck in my opinion is like absolutely perfect i'll make zero changes to it absolutely like it and my favorite extra deck card was this card this card is so good. I didn't think I was going to summon it as much as I was, but the card is so good. I summoned it more than Zeke, which is kind of like, in high sight, kind of surprising. All right, on to the side deck. I side deck Triple Ash Blossoms, and kind of the reason why I side deck the Triple Ash Blossoms here is because of Shadals. Uh, pretty much the main reason. Sometimes versus Rogue, because Rogue is really, you know, really weak to Ash. But a lot of the, the meta cards are really not. So I don't really side in Ash for those decks. But for Rogue and for Shadals, because we hard lose the Shadal Fusion if you uh, open up the Ray. Um, triple Draw and Lockbird. <clears throat> this card is still insane. Drytron is still a deck. And luckily, I didn't go against a Drytron deck at locals but um this next cook goes in you know so goes really good versus dragon sometimes you can do it versus it all invoke depending on how they open um yeah it's a really good card really strong mvp of the deck nibiru nibiru goes in in so many different matchups because i don't know what it is but if i go first and win game one my point of it is like, oh, he's playing a trap deck, you know? So let's make a really big board. And every single time they try to like extend or overextend to like put a lot of pressure on me, the beer just comes in and just wins the game by itself. It's so great. Also, uh, Sky Strikers are really good at going second too. So keep that in mind too. Um, I have broken many boards and with the help of like droplets and stuff like that just kind of help a push through boards this deck can actually go, pretty, go second pretty well so don't sleep on it um triple cosmic cyclones just kind of some regenerate back row removal i used to have twin in this slot but i feel like cosmic cyclone is a little bit better because like um uh, especially now i feel like elich is going to be more of a thing not too much but you probably see a lot more in this format um, so I like just to get rid of those kind of problematic cards instead of just like discarding one, twinning for two, and then they just kind of replace themselves. Um, in other matchups too, this comes up a lot too, like Sky Strikers, like, you know, banishing their engage or Dry Trons banishing their ritual spell, stuff like that. Just, I would never put in Cosmic Cyclones against Dry Trons, but you know, just, I like the application a little bit better than Twin. The only applications I do miss with Twin, which never really comes up anymore, is twinning my own area zero to get ray but that's never really came up and for my last um side deck cards is triple solemn judgments i mean it's a good going first card like it's all i really need to say it's like the best going first card because it trades with like anything you want right so like harpies lightning storms evenly matches mostly evenly matches harpies or in lightning storm doesn't really bother me too much 
uh because if i have area zero face up then i get a you know a ray for that and if they blow up my Lich stuff then they just replace themselves so but yeah um so guys that's the deck profile i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys have any questions uh let me know but yeah that was the deck i really do enjoy it and i actually might continue playing this deck throughout the next um format as far as like being my main main deck um there's other decks i kind of want to use because again i kind of want to utilize cross out designator more and cross out designator doesn't belong in this deck like this deck doesn't really need cross out designator but um in my orcas mech knight deck uh definitely need cross out designators because i'm so sick of getting imperm and valored so yeah, we'll let's go with that. But anyway, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one and have a great day. Peace.